So what is the oldest or most sentimental ornament that you put on your tree every single year? How long have you had it? Where did you get it? You can comment below and we'll get to more of that this week in the Country Music Update. I'm Greg Reynolds. First, we finally got to see what was about a month delayed. Morgan Wallen and his SNL debut did two songs, his current single, Seven Summers, love it, and a new single off the Dangerous double album, Still Going Down. But he also got to be in a skit, which I think would be terrifying. You're like there to sing and then you have to act with Jason Bateman standing beside you and the rest of the SNL crew, but it was perfect. It was all about what happened when he was supposed to be on the first time and then he ended up making out with some University of Alabama sorority girls instead. Here's a little taste, if you didn't catch, Morgan on SNL. Alabama! <laughs> to no consequences! Woo! Consequences! Woo! Oh my god, Morgan, I am such a fan. Do you think we could kiss and I could film it? Only if you promise not to post it on social media. Just on TikTok, I promise. <laughs> awesome, right? When you can make fun of yourself, kind of clears the air in the room, and it is all in anticipation of the dub double album, which comes out in January, and we will be talking to him about that album on this Barn 49 channel, so stay tuned for that. We say congratulations to Chris Lane and his beautiful wife, Lauren. They are expecting baby number one. And as you can see by the announcement, they're pretty excited. I remember when we got to tell our families that we were having baby number one, the first grandkid on either side, my wife Sam and I, both sets of parents cried. It was just a love fest. My dad for a second didn't understand what was going on because we had t-shirts made. He's like, what? And then my brother said, oh, I just thought you'd been eating more Cheetos lately, to which my wife will never, ever forget that statement. And finally, we talk a little Christmas time. We got to chat with Nico Moon about the Christmas tree that was up in the background during our interview. And about the uh, little ornaments that have to go on in a certain order and the one that means the most to him that goes on the tree every year. My wife, uh, first year we were married, she got me uh, she got me an ornament, like a little microphone ornament. And so that's a sentimental one uh, for me. Uh, I, got, I got like a little handmade one that I made when I was a kid, that one's sentimental. I got those too, but I'm such a terrible artist. Mine's just an old candy cane with googly eyes on it. And my mom, for some reason, like when I moved out, she's like, you have to take this. This is the first ornament you made. I'm like, this is garbage, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> they may not be the best looking, but you know, that ain't what it's about. <laughs> That's what I said to my wife when I met her. I'm not the best looking, but that ain't what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of his beautiful wife that gave that ornament, this is how they met. A true social media love story. You say you're married. How long have you been married? Five years. Five years, congratulations. Uh, tell yeah, me a little bit of the backstory. You. How did you meet? Man, we met on Facebook. She, no uh, way. Yeah, yeah, we really did, man. And then I invited her, I invited her to a, 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 this was back when I was playing clubs. So I invited her to like a club show and she came and we got to hanging out. So hold on, that was hold it? on. you sent a friend request or she sent a friend request? How did that, how does Facebook love happen? She friend requested me and then I saw she friend requested me, so I slid into her DMs. <laughs> now, how much creeping did you do on pictures before you slid into the DMs? Oh, big time. Big time. <laughs> For more country music news, you subscribe to this Barn 49 YouTube channel. I'm Greg Reynolds with another country music update.